Barnet take on Yeovil tomorrow in the National League. I'm joined here by assistant manager John Dreyer. John, how have the preparations been for this one? Yeah, I mean, listen, when you're playing Saturday, Tuesday, as we have been for so long, you know, it's, 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 uh, but, you know, Yeovil have been in the same situation. It's, um, it's always hurried, isn't it? It's never, never the best preparation. But look, we've, we've, uh, we, we go in uh, as we do every game with a game plan, and uh, this is no different. So yeah, we're, we're in good shape. The results of the last couple of weeks have been a little inconsistent. Can we use uh, Saturday's quarter-final win as a as a launch pad to get back to consistent wins? Yeah, I mean, listen, we we've if you look at uh, apart from probably the top two clubs, I think everybody's had blips along the way. We had a tough September, if I remember rightly. And we're, ha we're having a little bit blip of, at the moment, but uh, you know, if we go back to September, we then went three months unbeaten. So you know, hopefully Saturday's win will be a, a springboard for, for better, better performances and better results. Yeovil haven't probably had the season that they're expecting this year, but on a little good run of form, getting points against Chesterfield. Uh, what challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? Well, listen, they're a very organised team. You know, Mark Cooper's a very experienced manager, good manager, and um, it, was a, it was a good result for them uh, against Chesterfield. I thought they worked really hard. Um, they're fighting for their lives, and they're fighting for the manager. So it'll be, a, it'll be a, a tough game. You know, every point counts. And I think what we found, as I said, I mentioned the, the top two teams, I think what you found, uh, th there's no give-me's in this league. Anyone can beat anyone on their day. So we found that, and you know, we only... Look back to the, the, the previous game, which, which was um, uh, Dorking away. You know they took six points off us, and uh, it's really that's criminal when you when you when you, you look at the, the performances. But um, so it'll be a tough game tomorrow. And we're not going to take anything for granted. We're not taking them lightly. We need to go out there, play on the front foot, and uh, and produce the best game we can produce. And uh, hopefully, the, you know that will be enough. Yeah, it was, and it was great, great positives this last couple of days for the club. Another great positive, Ryan de Havilland getting his England C call up. How proud is the club of him of get, making that achievement? Uh, listen, we're all very proud of him. I think when you look, it, it was actually my first game, so that would have been end of February uh, last year. So just over a year ago, he's making his league debut at uh, Torquay away, and that was my first game as well. Uh, and, it, and since then, we've seen him grown grow and grow and, and mature in his performances. He's a very talented footballer and you know this is just the, the start of his sort of like uh, his journey and I think there's a lot more to come from him. Um, so we're, we're, we're immensely proud of him. And uh, finally we've had a few injuries the last few weeks. Is there any update to the squad for tomorrow? Um, no I mean we listen every club has their injuries uh, we'll just get on with it. We've got a, a squad more than capable to deal with any blips or any injuries so you know that, that gives the opportunity for somebody else to come up and uh, make their mark and uh, put a stamp on on what they've got to give to the team so um no listen we're we're, we're, we're in good shape as i said um we've had you know medium term injuries that that are still medium term injuries so you know we'll just get on with it uh, but as i say the squad's more than capable of dealing with this john thank you for your time Cheers, thank you